This is the all new Spider hot end on my Ender 5 Plus. Here's both hot ends bolted to the factory X carriage for comparison. There are issues bolting the Spider hot end onto the stock Ender 5 Plus's X carriage. Because the heater block is so much larger, the nozzle protrudes down quite a bit further. If you follow the Creality instructions, you'll end up crashing your printer during homing. Ask me how I know. On the Ender 5 Plus, the linear rail mounts will interfere with the nozzle and also the BL touch once you space it down to match the nozzle height. To overcome the issues, I designed and built my own new X carriage mount and then I designed a fan shroud so everything fits and works nicely together. I hope this video helps you decide whether or not the spider hot end is right for you. On to the work. Slightly loosen the x-axis tensioner so the belts are loose. Remove the belts from the X carriage. Loosen the top two V-roller assemblies. Then remove the X carriage assembly. Now swap over all the hardware from the old factory X carriage to the new HBE X carriage assembly. Leave the top two V-rollers loose. Now is a great time to check your bearings and also make sure your V-wheels are not wobbling on the bearings. Leave the eccentric nut at its loosest setting. Replace the X carriage onto the X rail. Now snug down the top two V-rollers. Adjust the eccentric nut to snug down the X carriage. Remove all of the free play but not so tight that it's difficult to slide. I like to do my final tighten by hand to make sure I don't overdo it on the torque. Now you can replace your belts, being careful to make sure that the belts are centered in their grooves so they don't wear on the rail. You can now retension your X belt. One of the main reasons I went through the effort of building the new X carriage out of metal is because the new Spider hot end is meant to add capabilities to this workhorse of a machine. Due to the stresses on the X carriage, I don't think a 3D printed part would last in this situation, especially considering high temperature filaments and heated enclosures. If you do end up purchasing the HBE X carriage kit off of eBay, it comes with everything you need to install the Spider hot end. I'd recommend purchasing the Spider hot end first, then the X carriage kit, and going to Thingiverse right after your purchases so you can print out the fan shroud. That way, you've got everything ready to go by the time all the parts arrive in the mail. Another important aspect to me about this kit is it allows you to reuse your metal BL touch mount. This way, the mount is not expanding and contracting with the temperature of the enclosure. I recommend snugging the lower screw and then adjusting the fan shroud so it's level before fully tightening the upper screw. Then you can fully tighten the lower screw. Finally, you can install the fans onto the fan shroud. Before you do this, just double check that all your fasteners on the hot end are tight. Once you install the fans, you limit access to those fasteners. Also as a matter of preference, I only install two fasteners per fan because I really feel that's all that's needed. Now that you've got your new spider hot end mounted up, do a final sanity check and manually move the carriage through its motion to make sure that the fan shroud nozzle and BL touch clear all the linear rail mounts. Now home all axes and ensure that the BL touch works correctly. This is the point you can tune your BL touch to nozzle offset as well. 
congratulations on your successful installation of a Spider Hotend. I hope that you enjoy the better quality and faster printing speeds that it enables. Happy printing!